now my successes, hopes, and dreams. Today, I am a pastor's wife married for more than five years, a graduate of the University of Notre Dame in English and Music. I earned an MA in Communication from the University of Illinois Springfield and an MA in Public Administration from Southern Illinois University, Edwardsville. Despite a hospitalization during my studies at SIUE, I earned a 4.0 GPA, working with the Disabilities Office while maintaining two part-time jobs. Most of all, on January 5th, 2020, I became the proud mother of identical twin girls, Laura Maria and Mary Elizabeth Teller, at the age of 40. They are healthy, beautiful, good, and smart. I am truly blessed and never imagined it would happen this way. My musical compositions have been recognized by a music agent whom I signed with for two years. One of my compositions was named Honorable Mention for an International Songwriting Contest. The San Francisco Conservatory of Music invited me to audition for its Technology Applied Composition Program. I self-produced three albums of lullabies and gospel music. I've composed roughly 50 piano pieces. I testified before the Missouri Legislature to defeat a bill that would have limited access to proper medications for people on Medicaid. The St. Louis Post-Dispatch published my letter to the editor on this issue as well. I've appeared on TV live on PBS in St. Louis and was interviewed three times by Emmy Award-winning reporter Art Holiday to tell my story. In fact, I am writing a memoir of my story, My Brain Makes You Proud with Art Holiday, working to get published as a stigma-fighting role model. Years ago, I launched this presentation, Tuning Out Sigma, in collaboration with the National Alliance on Mental Illness at Southwestern Illinois in 2016 at my graduate school. By 2017, I presented four times before college audiences, even an audience of 100 in Greenville, Illinois, with a standing ovation. Most of all, I've allowed mental illness to be a stepping stone, not a stumbling block to help myself and others almost often simultaneously by speaking out and sharing my story. This is my story, which is an honor to share. Life is not a walk in the park. It's a marathon to endure for the sake of oneself and many others who can be inspired by small steps of courage. No matter what challenges you face in life or that you see in others, understand that you may not fully understand why or what is going on. Yet hold on to hope, never give up and realize you are not alone. Being diagnosed with mental illness is not a death sentence. Recovery is a real possibility.